And listen, the time is short. The Lord is coming soon. We've got to get the job done. You may not know the kind of fight that's going on right now. It's short. The Lord is coming soon. We've got to get the job done. We've got to get his message around the world real quick. And some doors will be closed soon. Remember, the opportunities that we have to preach the gospel today will not be there always. In many nations, you may not know the kind of fight that's going on right now to keep some doors open. There's a lot of praying in the spirit that many of us have to do to keep the doors open and asking the Lord for uh, more time, more time. And we're pressing, pressing, pressing. Listen, this is our moment to win the world. This is our moment. This is our moment. We've got to do it. There are more doors that will open. More doors will open. But some will be closed. And before the, the ones that are going to be closed get closed, we've got to get the material in. Before it becomes impossible to take them in. Let's do it now for the Lord. Welcome to the moment of truth. You just heard Chris Oyakilome ranting. He's calling people to come. Let's do it. Let's get the material in before the door closes. Some doors will close, some doors will open. My people, know God for yourself. Who? He's been doing all these things since 1987. Where are we today? Look at how filthy everywhere is. He's the only one that is rich, yo. But in the middle of everything, he loses his marriage. He has two daughters with Pastor Anita. He only has access to one now. See the fake miracle he's doing here and there. That door has closed in South Africa. Closed in Nigeria. Closed in many places. Because everybody now knows that he is a liar. See how he's behaving like uh, Professor Pella and uh, TV Joshua there. Those are the doors. You don't need all these things. If you seek, go to the doctors. Because people still go there and they will go and die. Because everything is, is fake. I've been to South Africa. I've done a video about it. Go and find all my videos about uh, Chris Oyakilome. I was his, um, his uh, cell leader in Dagenham. Eight people died in my, in my branch in Dagenham. In a year. That just in a year. One of my cell, cell, cell person, cell member was there. Sister Julie. She's late now. She's been to South Africa healing school. I encourage her to go. She went there. I too, I went there. I see how they fix miracles, how they lie and do all sorts of things. You see his video with uh, T.B. Joshua as well when he was younger. See how he's commanding people that were sick, that were on stretcher to get up. Because they were arranged to, to sleep on that stretcher. So how is, how is that possible? Even our Lord Jesus Christ did not perform a miracle like this. And I want you to know, all you miracle seekers, that's not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why you'll be falling into wrong hands here and there. The gospel, the reason for our Lord Jesus Christ, reason for his suffering on the cross at Calvary, is for your soul. Is the, is the miracle of your soul being delivered from your sin, being transferred, from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light of our Lord Jesus Christ. When you first of all seek the kingdom of God, every other thing will be added. If you have any challenges in your life, go to the doctors. Don't go to all these places so you pay money. At the end of the day, the person will go and buy. What's the point? It's all lies, it's all deception. Don't let anybody deceive you. Running up and down with all these men, you will not get anything from it. They will take every good thing in your life. See what NHL is doing. We'll be exposing NHL. They are all fake. They are all liars. God is not with them. The glory of God has departed. God is not in what they are doing. So stay away from all these shrines. Know God for yourself. Have relationship with your maker. 
go and listen to the video of a brother Gideon King Kankani I posted. He tells you the genuine Christianity, how to know that Lord. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. It just both stress my point. That's why I use the video to let you know what I've been saying. I know what I'm saying because I've done all these things. He does not pay. You have to know God for yourself. Salvation is personal. You don't have to go to where millions are gathered, where two or three are gathered. The Almighty God is there. You have to find God in your closet. You have to find God on your knees. Take your matter to Him. Remember what He has done for you before and enter into places with that. And that's it. Your testimony has started. Remember the, the, the case of, uh, of, uh, of David when he wanted to go and uh, confront Goliath. Uh, Saul wanted to, have, have, wanted to equip him with um, hammer and all that. He said, no, I've not tested it. Let me use the one I've tested. I've, I've, I've torn the, the lions apart with my hands. He, he started to remember the good thing God has done in his life. And by, by, by doing so, he brought himself back into the presence of the Lord. God has done a lot in your life. God has made you a millionaire, a thousandaire, a thousandaire, whatever. Because of little challenge, you forgot everything God has done for you. You started running up and down to all these fake, all these liars, all these thieves. This is how God delivered me, oh, because I used to follow them here and there. Oh. Here and there, oh. Then I sit down and say, ah, ah, God brought me to United Kingdom in 1989. I did not go to any pastor. I didn't pray to any, I didn't run to anybody to pray for me. I just did the right thing. And just God granted it. Ah, ah, God that did that. God gave me beautiful children. Ah, ah, a lot of millionaires are looking for children. But I didn't pay anything now. I didn't go for prayer anywhere. God just had mercy on me and, uh, and blessed me. When I started to remember all this, and I say, Lord, I'm sorry. I lose sight, and I started following lies of all these people. Lord, have mercy on me. Then I return. I go back to my God like a prodigal son, one-on-one -on -one with Christ. No God, You can only know God in your closet, too. not in all the churches, so where they are hiring uh, um, gospel artists, paying them millions. That tells you. That God is not there. Wherever you see conferences upon conferences, uh, gospel artists, all of them, FOL Manchester, uh, all these uh, 2024 uh, world praises, world nation praises, all of them. It's all about money, oh, it's business, so, oh, and God is not there. Because you cannot trade the suffering of our Lord Jesus Christ for money and expect Him to be there. Our Lord Jesus Christ that went to the Calvary and died on the cross of Calvary. How much did he charge us? He didn't charge us anything now. Why will all these people be making you in the name of Jesus? And you still believe that they will make heaven. They cannot make heaven. They are working for the God of this world. Don't listen to the cry. He's calling you. We will be crying, shouting, screaming. For people to stay away. And a lot of people have stayed away. Now he's calling you back. Don't listen to him or he will make you. He will make you empty your purse. Empty your pocket. He's not, he's, he's not getting anything. In. Whatever that he did not get in since 1987. Is it now that he will get it in? My people use your brain, no. Use your brain, no. Read your Bible. Know God for yourself, oh. Uh, uh, Abraham, build up his own army. Go and build up your family, your, your relatives. Let them know God. If you know God, let them know God. And that's it. When uh, Abraham is going to any war, when he was going to deliver um, his nephew, Lot, he went with his own army. He didn't look to, he didn't go to any pastor. He didn't run anywhere. Because he has built his own altar. That's what we have to do now. There's no church anywhere. Oh. We have remnant, like 1%, but those ones are not, are not known. So it's very difficult to know those ones unless Holy Spirit directed you. 
Some people are not happy with me for saying this, but that's the truth. That's the truth. All these mega pastors, they falling off of the uh, 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 they, they, they falling off the, 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 the glory of God. God is not with them. God is not in what they are doing. They are just doing it for themselves, for their own gain, for their own purpose, for their own kingdom, for their own glory. That's why when they say they pray for headache, eh, someone say, eh, eh, when you're teaching, eh, when I listen to your teaching, eh, my headache is gone. They'll be so happy. Self glory. That's what they want. That's not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. They should be happy that people have genuine repentance. Genuine repentance. When they are collecting money from the thieves, from the um, politicians, how are they going to show you now the, the, the genuine repentance? When they are living in sin themselves, when everything they are preaching is error, is lie, is deception, everything is fake, fake. Anyway, I think I've said enough and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now. Stay away. From Chris Oyakilome. He has a lot of bloggers out there that is massaging his ego. Stay away from all of them. Any blogger that is showering praises on all of these fake pastors, just sign them off. Just run away from them. Bye for now.